Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Anna and this is the final illustration of October 2022. I didn't make 31 different drawings in the end, but I have several artworks that I'm really happy with. The main purpose of Inktober is to give a boost to your drawing skills and I think I succeed at that. I learned a lot this month and even with this drawing alone I improved my skills. This was a difficult one to make. Maybe not that clever to do such a big and difficult piece at the end of Inktober, but I really wanted to make this one. Ever since I began drawing again I was determined to master pen and ink with hatching and cross hatching because I like the look of this type of art very much. But it's one of the more difficult techniques in drawing because much of it is left to your imagination. Pen is such a linear art medium. With pencil you can imitate the photo reference exactly because you can blend your applications, erase mistakes, you can create value scales by varying pressure and you can't do that with pen. All you have are black marks. And how do you translate the world around you with only a few black marks? Although there are some guidelines that can help you with pen and ink, there really isn't a right or wrong in art. About a week ago, someone offered a series of 4 books on the marketplace and I bought them. It's a series of books from the early 1900s about the Four Seasons, with lots of watercolor, but also pen drawings of nature scenes in it, and I spent an entire day on just studying those drawings. I looked at how the artist translated the world around him in pen, which marks he made, how he simplified the details but still knew how to communicate the different textures to the viewer. Then I could take elements of some of those drawings and use it in this illustration by giving my own spin on it. I know what you think. Anna, if you tried to master pen and ink for years, why didn't you do this before? Well, I did that before. I watched YouTube videos about the technique, followed some tutorials and browsed hours and hours on Pinterest to study pen drawings. But for some reason, during this Inktober, it looked like something turned the switch and all of it fell into place. Of course, I still have a lot to learn and I think you don't ever master a technique. So I'm happy with the progress and I'm glad I did this piece. I say this because if you're trying to learn how to draw, it just takes time to improve and it's not that if you follow a tutorial or a course that you suddenly can draw the way that the artist is trying to teach you. Sometimes drawing is like learning a language. You can understand a certain language, but can you also speak it yourself? I live in the Netherlands and we have 12 different provinces here. Each province basically has its own dialect. In my region, people speak Twens, but I never learned that dialect and I can understand most of it if someone talks to me. But please, never ask me to speak Twens myself or butcher it completely. The same is for drawing. Sometimes you understand why an artist makes the marks that he makes, but can you replicate it yourself in a different piece when you are on your own? That takes practice. A lot of practice, even though it looks so easy. And even though this illustration could stand on its own with only the pen drawing, I also had to think about the fact that I also wanted to apply ink wash on top, so I didn't want it to go overboard with the pen application. Not only I had to figure out a way to translate all the different textures, I also had to think about altering some things from the photo reference to my artwork so every object would stand out from each other when some textures were too similar next to each other. I tried some things out on a separate piece of paper before I went in on my final piece. I think that worked out well in the end. Also I placed the keys on the cross myself. You know me, I just had to add some animals. At the end of the drawing I'm completely tired. I have headaches and my brain stops functioning for that day. This drawing costed me a few years of my life but when I create a piece that I'm happy with, I think it's worth it. But now Inktober is over and I want to focus on photography again. But also on watercolor and I bought some sepia ink I want to try out. And of course, I now have a proper pyrograph for wood burning. So I hope you're in for some changes on my channel because I have a lot of new things planned. But for now I'll leave you with the rest of the time lapse. I hope you enjoy this piece. Please let me know what you think in the comments below.
Have a nice day. Until next time.